This program is brought to you by Emory University. Former Georgia State Representative John Lunsford knows a thing or two about the searing pain osteoarthritis can cause. I was taking about 16 ibuprofen a day and sometimes I'd take two naproxen in the morning, two at night, and the 16 ibuprofen during the day. And it just got to be a little bit much. The experts he consulted told him that the wear and tear on his hip was so severe he would need major surgery. The first one told me I needed a total hip replacement, so I went to get a second opinion and he told me I needed a total hip replacement. And I went for a third opinion, but I knew that was going to be the same, so I started doing research. That research led him to Emory Orthopedics and Spine Center and to Dr. Kenneth Mountner. Stem cell therapy is the next evolution in regenerative medicine. Mountner is one of a handful of doctors around the country who are using an experimental treatment that involves extracting stem cells from a patient's bone marrow, processing the material in a centrifuge, and then injecting it directly back into the patient's damaged joint. There's no rejection. There's no problem. It's not like I'm putting a foreign substance in my body it has to adjust to. We took the stem cells from my pelvis area out of my bone marrow, and we took the platelets from my own blood, and we created a mixture that was hundreds or thousands of times stronger than my body would have treated an injury with and re-injected back into the injured site. And so it, we basically turbocharged that site to heal itself. And so far, so good. It's been months and I'm really, really pleased with the results. We're actually getting your cells that have the ability to turn into cartilage or turn into tendon or ligament or whatever we want them to. And by placing an abundance of those cells directly in the area that are deficient, we hope to kind of grow healthier cells in that area. Kirsten Witt is having the procedure done on her knee. I would love to be able to run again. Um, don't know if that will happen, but I'd like to at least give it a try. Results may vary from patient to patient, but the procedure itself has relatively few side effects. And because the therapy is not yet in common practice, it is also currently not covered by most health insurance. Uh, the implant was a little intense for a few seconds. Uh, nothing you couldn't deal with. A whole lot less than a root canal and a whole lot less than eight, nine, ten weeks of recovery after a replacement. It's too early yet for experts to know exactly how long the treatment will last on average, how effective it will ultimately be, and who will be the best candidates for it. But for patients like John Lunsford, the results have been nothing short of remarkable. I don't see a surgery anytime close in my near future and prior to having the procedure, surgery was just around the corner. Would I do it again? Absolutely. I would do it two or three more times before I had a replacement. And if I still have to have a hip replacement sometime in the future, and I very may well have to, let's look forward five or 10 years, the procedure done 10 years from now, I'm sure will be better than the one that's done today. But until then, if it doesn't hurt, why fix it? The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.